I want to point out that this was all uh, predictable. Glenn Spain runs the Pacific Coast Federation of Fishermen's Associations, and he's talking about the recent decision to close salmon fishing in all of California and much of Oregon. The problem is with Fall Chinook on the Sacramento and Klamath Rivers in California. Those are the second and third biggest salmon-producing rivers on the West Coast. Spain says political decisions made as California has grappled with drought have pushed Chinook to the brink of survival. Water was diverted from rivers for irrigation, leaving them almost inhospitable to salmon. The water that was left for them was way too hot, and they killed a lot of the eggs. Fast forward to today, and the fish from that generation are now in the ocean. And experts say there are far too few of them to responsibly fish. So we have to make sure that we're not, you know, undermining our ability to produce uh, salmon for the next go around. And this fishing closure will have ripple effects through the coastal economy. Steve Fick owns a fish processing business in Astoria. People come to the coast uh, to eat the fresh salmon in the restaurants. Um, that's going to be a challenge this year. The economics of it, you take just one 15-pound Chinook salmon caught off the Oregon coast, it's about 15 meals at $25 to $30 a meal. Now, to be clear, this wasn't some top-down decision where the government told the fishermen they had to keep their boats in the harbor. The closure in California was prompted by a petition from Spain's own organization and others. It was the fishermen themselves who asked regulators to shut them down for the good of the species. We are stewards of the fisheries. If we're going to provide for any fisheries in the future, we cannot be fishing on a stock that is so few in numbers that they're not even going to be able to replace this generation. So far in Oregon, the salmon fishing season is closed through May, except off the very northern coast. But it's likely that closures, they'll extend at least through the fall, and possibly beyond. We're in a little bit of a pickle there as far as being able to look forward with an optimistic view for where we'll be next year. Now, a decision for the rest of the year will come in early April. And in the meantime, you may notice that salmon prices at the store, they might nudge up a little bit. But officials told me that coho salmon are having a strong year and the fisheries north of us will remain open. So that will at least help offset the hit to your wallet. Brittany. All right. Thanks so much, Kale.